Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $95,405.16. In the past year I am up $22,934.65. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $5,019.70. Today is a red day for me. I lost $1,039.75 during the day. After hours, I am down another $138.54. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, $111. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $12. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $746. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $118. I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. My total return, I am down $415. Selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19th. My total return, $279. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $450. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $338. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return $426. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $182.85. My average cost $98.95. My total return $25,173 and 79 cents. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.40. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $4,660.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $101.54. My average cost, $60. My total return, $12,461.85. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $21.82. My average cost, $17.53. Total return, $4,295. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.35. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, $160.05. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $175.13. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,265. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.12. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $284.16. I have 200 shares of Verizon. 
Verizon is at $40.13. My average cost, $39.31. My total return, $164. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $80.20. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, $410.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $114,627.39. My margin used is $111,554. Sorry, $547.87, which leaves me with $3,079.52 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $42,320.31. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. The annual interest rate I'm paying is 6.25%. The daily interest I'm paying is $19.02 and I am borrowing $2,000 interest-free. Another red day. Things have been going, you know, not well. I was at $102,000, and then I made a steep drop since then. So now I'm back down to $95K. Um, yeah, not much to say there. Just having some red days recently, so I've lost, uh, you know, several thousand dollars. However... I think over the long term, it should turn around. Now, the next week, there's only three more days until these four covered calls expire. Amazon, Disney, PayPal, and Verizon. Now, Verizon, these are most likely going to get called away. PayPal, it was like close for a while, but now it's down to like around $60, so... I'm probably going to keep my PayPal shares. Now, Disney, I used to have a strike price of $110. However, today, I believe I changed it to $105. So, a little bit lower in strike price. And I'm going to get a little bit more premium for that. Now, will it actually hit $105 by the end of the week? I don't know. We'll see. Right now, it's at $101. Pretty close. It could happen, but I don't think so. But I think I'll be happy either way. If it does go to 105, I'm, I'm just going to do spreads, I think. Some Disney spreads. Amazon, um, right now at 182, I chose a strike price of 190. We'll see what happens. In three days, I don't know. But everything else, a little bit further out um, next month. So one more month until these four expire. I did say last time in my last update that I wanted to start doing spreads again. And I do want to at least wait until the 21st for these to expire first. And then look into doing spreads for things like Disney, um, things like that. But for now, I'm still going to just hold on to these covered calls for now. At least until they expire. I'll keep on making more updates, letting you guys know, you know, what spreads I do or if I even do them at all, really. Um, because things change all the time. But that's my plan moving forward for now. Um, and I'll keep on making updates just to let you guys know exactly what I do. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this portfolio update. I'll be making more portfolio updates in the future. So if you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.